Mains to be seen. Takes down Vu yet again. Now, 17 to 8. We've got the lock on Vu. Let's take a look at the action. Makes his way inside. Oh, shut down from behind. Fatality ghosting him and says, you know what? I am determined to close ranks with you right now. Grabs the gold just in time for uh, Fatality and Vu. And Vu again suffers at the hands of Fatality. Slowly clawing his way back. He's got 412 remaining to do it. With that nice control he has of the gold and silver. And the solid aim. Fatality appears to have woken up. And his aim is really dominating right now. If he can score and go clutch, it, it's going to be a, a blow to the heart of Vu. Vu has got to stay in control here for the next three to four minutes. Indeed, Vu, though, now has just picked up that gold armor just in front of Fatality. Fatality going to go for the mega health possibly now. No, Vu steals it. This will be crucial because he's now picked up the silver as well. And Fatality is running away, as you can see over there. And got 12 health, and Vu takes him down. This could be a very, very crucial moment because Vu has now got control of that mega health and also the gold armor he knows when the spawn is is ready for it and as we can see there his face is 100% concentrated he, he wants to win this game he knows that if he wins his first map that it puts Fatality on the back foot from the start he's got to win a lot more maps if he's going to win the overall game but it helps a hell of a lot with 3 minutes 15 remaining he's now on the gold and on the mega health once again and it's looking good for Vu yeah, let's uh, let, let's talk about the truth here. Three ten remaining. It's going to be a confidence builder for Vu. He's got a ten point lead. He's going to feel a little bit better about himself. You could see in the past, not too happy with his performance, engaging fatality. But now coming out to the Vu that we know and love, this guy is going to win the first map. I'm pretty certain of that. Two fifty four. Not to spoil anything for anyone out there, but fatality is going to come back a little bit stronger. Maybe in the second half. If not, then Vu might take it in two. Then we're going to have to do it one more time, which could mean we'll have the kind of final here on the main stage that we've come to expect, especially from the CPL, especially from the United Kingdom here at the CPL UK World Tour stop, hosted by Game Frontier. So let's take a look again now, 21 to 10, the blackjack action in effect as Fatality realizing, yep, at 224, I am in trouble. He's going to have to sit back at this point here, just focus on his aim, focus on, on getting his tempo down, and uh, prepare for the next map. Really, if he can beat Vu now, he wants to do that and just shut him down and say, you know what, good games, but I am the champion. Vu, of course, does not want that to happen. Of course not. Vu needs to win this one. He's going to move out, obviously, from this map. If he does manage to win it, which is looking very likely at the moment, he's a good 12 frags in front. He's got the control of the armor and that mega health, which is so important, and he just needs to keep on with it. I mean, if he can carry on getting the frags like you see now with the electro driver as they both drop down into the loading bay, and... Fatality taking him out. I mean, it, it, it's going to be too little, too late from Fatality. He needs what? He needs another 11 frags from now, from the point now, and he's really going to struggle to do it unless you get five, six spawn kills in a row, which is very unlikely, really, on this map. Well, 22 to 12. We've talked about this before. We've got all the PK players out there in the crowd who have fought in this fantastic tournament. A lot of CS 1.6 players as well, and just a lot of gamers in general. Great guys here for the UK event. Yeah. As we wrap it up now, 22 to 13, coming up to that one-minute warning on the clock right now. We're going to call the shots and call the action with our NVIDIA spotlight on Fatality as we head way over here to the right-hand side of the GoldenEye tank. Let's take a look at Fatality as he makes his way inside. Second tier of silver. And 163-200, he's got the uh, double stack situation, so this really is that time, like I said, to go on the Seek and Destroy mission. Too little, too late. Catches Vu hiding behind a box. Here's something funny. We've seen this before. This is what Fatality has done to Vu. Uh, I believe it was on Sacred. He had a lead, and he just kind of hid away in a little nook and cranny to wear down the clock. That's exactly what you're seeing Vu do right now. He's just going to wear down the clock. He realizes he's going to win, and he's not going to give Fatality any kind of chance here. Uh, at all to score any kind of victory, moral victory or otherwise, here on the first map of DM Meatless. Now at 25 seconds, Joe, take us home. Yeah, indeed, he's got four frags to make up now. It's going to be difficult. It is possible, though, if he does get those spawn kills. Fatality just hiding up there on the third tier of this silver armor room. And uh, it's difficult. Sorry, Vu was hiding up there. Fatality really not been able to hit him until there. Good game, says Vu, and indeed it is. Seven seconds left on the clock, and it's been a good performance, really. Fatality just running around now, seeing if he can get them on the spawn and going for the cheeky kills. And a win for Vu. Very, very good stuff. Yep. We'll be moving on now to DM Sacred, which is a favorite map 
of both these players. Absolutely. Both Sacred both is something that up. you guys expect to see no matter what. When you think Vu, you think Fatality, you say, all right, well, these guys are going to meet on Sacred. How about a second helping of Sacred? Maybe a third of, well, you got it, Sacred. A little surprising, saw Meatless early on, but now heading back to traditional Sacred. Let's hop on the laptop here real quick. And, uh, no, actually, we can't do that. We've got the laptop overview up there. I was going to say give the viewers a, a quick rundown of the map, but... Since we can't do that, what we can do for you is uh, an audio rundown. Tell us a little bit about we Sacred can, we can do the video. and what it's all about. We can do the video. Take it away. Uh, or we can do the video for the audience here. We'll go through right, audio the audience for the at viewers home. at home. Yeah. Right, here we go then. Let's uh, switch view. Oh, man. It looks like we're out of luck because the, uh, the spectator change key is different. So, ah, you know, so yeah, we'll go a, through a, uh, for these an UK audio It's keyboards. View. I swear to God, every different key is 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 bizarrely backwards from the United States. Yeah, I mean, just like the roadways. Uh, like everything. I'm lost here. <laughs> I really am. We're not a colony of the UK anymore. So, yeah, that's good. All right, so let's continue the battle right now. What we got here is a warm-up situation. We talked a little bit about Sacred. Sacred, one of my favorite maps. I say that every time in which we broadcast it. Love it. Fast pace, lots of action, gold armor, silver armor, bronze armor. Don't see the bronze very much at all. Of course, you've got your standard mega health on the one-minute respawn. Your armor's on the 20-second respawn. Yep. These players are the kind of players they'll remember. In their head, they've got the clock for every single item on the map, and they will be back for it, and they will fight for it. It's all about control on Sacred, on all the maps here in PK, but Sacred really is just a fast-paced motorway of destruction, and yeah. Fatality.